Well, the New York Jets travel to Arizona on Sunday to take on the Cardinals, and they're coming off a win that snapped a five-game losing streak. Matter of fact, an 0-5 straight up, an ATS straight streak. Uh, so the Jets are back in business, and they're three and six, and they're talking about the playoffs at three and six. Uh, let's hold your horses just a bit for just a little while. The Arizona Cardinals, on the other hand, off to a surprising five and four start. And right now, as we speak uh, through the tiebreaker, they're the number one team in the NFC West. So who's going to win this game? Who's going to come out on top? Uh, I have the answers and much more in this contest, but just uh, stay tuned for a second, folks, as I just have to run through a couple promos here. Uh, first of all, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's absolutely free. No strings attached. Just hit that subscribe button right below me. It's uh, And you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. And while you're at it, folks, after you subscribe, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, uh, there's a like button right underneath, folks, and I would kindly ask you hit that like button. And uh, it's just a small token of appreciation for the work I put in on these uh, free pick videos. And also makes the people over at Wager Talk TV happy and keeps our free pick videos on Wager Talk TV exactly that, free. If not, if you don't want to hit that like button, that's okay. I appreciate you viewing. All right. The New York Jets are a one and a half point road favorite in this contest. The total at 46 and a half. Here's the thing. When you see a line like this at one and a half, um, it, obviously the sports books are, are projecting a, a game to be a very evenly, an even matchup in a very close game. Uh, so let's survey how these two teams are doing uh, in this season in close games. Uh, the Jets are 0-3 this year in games decided by three points or less. So uh, when it comes down to games that come down to the wire, the Jets haven't had much success, any success for that matter, uh, in very close games. While the Cardinals, in that same parameter, games decided by three points or less, they're on the opposite side of the spectrum, which is 3-0. and So as you can see, there's a fine line between a Cardinals team going 5-4 and four and the Jets at 3-6, and six, just based on their records in close games uh, decided by a field goal or less. The Cardinals will be able to run the ball on this, in my estimation at this point, a very overhyped and overrated Jets defense. Yes, they have the ability to rush the pass, or yes, they're pretty good against the pass, but on the other hand, uh, stopping the run has been a huge problem for the uh, New York Jets defense. Uh, um, Arizona, by the way, uh, the Jets, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for the confusion there, folks. The Jets have allowed um, 151.5 yards per game on the ground over their last four contests. And this Arizona team has averaged nearly 150 yards per game and 5.3 yards per rushing attempt when it comes to their ground attack. Uh, they've also rushed for 169 yards or more in five of eight games this season. So I look for the Cardinals to be able to control the tempo of this game, control time of possession, uh, be able to run the ball and open up some opportunities for play-action pass for Kyler Murray and his receivers. Uh, the Jets also um, coming off that 21-13 home win versus Houston. And uh, like I said, that snapped a 0-5 straight up in ATS streak that they were on. Uh, the Jets uh, now one and four straight up in ATS on the road this year. Uh, they're only one coming in week two at Tennessee. That game last week, by the way, was at home. Uh, so they've struggled on the road. And uh, again, the only team they beat was Tennessee, who I believe at the moment is two, three and six or two and six, somewhere in that area. Not a very good team uh, by any accounts. Arizona is 3-0 and straight up in ATS in their last three games. They started the year 2-4. and four. That's catapulted them to the currently and previously mentioned 5-4 and four record. And uh, right now they're plus 105 on the money line. And anytime you have an NFL uh, team 
Uh, on the money line, it's plus 140 to minus 140 like Arizona is in this contest. And they're facing an opponent that allowed 14 points or less in their previous game like the Jets did. And both teams in the contest uh, average 18 to 23 points per game scored. Uh, those NFL teams have gone 24 and 5 against the money line, which is 83% since 2015. The average money line in those games was plus 101, and uh, they won those games or outscored their opponents by 5.4 points per game. So I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals here on the money line at uh, plus 105 over the New York Jets. It's Arizona plus 105 on the money line over the New York Jets. And uh, also, folks, don't forget our football special offer going on right now at Wager Talk. You can get $50 off either our college football or NFL annual packages uh, simply by using the promo code FBALL50. That's FBALL50 at checkout. And uh, it'll get $50 off either one of those packages or both, whatever you prefer. And, uh, folks, right now, uh, my package is at my link, wt.buzz slash rb over at Wager Talk. Uh, my NFL package, $429. You could take that price down to $379. My college football package, $329. You could take that down to $279. So take advantage of that offer simply by using that promo code at checkout, FBALL50. I'll be back with another NFL free pick video very shortly. Take care and God bless, folks.